Right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. And I know that this time of day can be a little bit tricky. Um, this is when blood sugar levels and caffeine levels drop dangerously low, but I'll keep things excited. So I'm Hans Holmberg. I work with uh, software ecosystem enablement uh, at Western Digital. And today I'll be talking about architecting for the Zettabyte era with zone storage. So as you might know, um, Western Digital is a leading provider for disks to data centers around the world. And we provide everything from um, density optimized hard drives to NMVME SSDs. And we have the broadest portfolio of storage products in the industry, but we still see the need to innovate to scale into the Zettabyte area. Because today we have an immense data growth. IDC uh, has estimated that by 2023, the data growth will be 100 zettabytes. And this is a lot. And it, come, it will come through a diverse set of uh, workloads coming from databases, sensor streams, analytics, virtualized environments, um, and video streams. And this will hit the same SSDs in the data centers. And flash media uh, works in a very specific way. Um, it needs to serialize all its writes onto the media into something called erase blocks. And these erase blocks f full, um, form um, garbage collection units on the drive. And as today, we have an interface where the data is coming in anonymous and as unstructured data into these garbage collection units. And since we have these multiple streams coming into our drives and the drive cannot really tell them apart, they're all going to land together in these garbage collection units. Uh, and then once uh, the disk tries to reclaim the data that has been invalidated, it will just be part of it because it's only part of it will only be a partial invalidation within those data units, forcing the drive to do garbage collection of the still valid data. And this increases write amplification, over provisioning, and thereby cost. And it's also it's a performance hit um, since it decreases throughput and latency predictability. The drive has to do a lot in the background that is not directly beneficial to the user. So we need to innovate. And what we want to do is to go from an interface um, on the left that we have today, where the, the drive is forced to mix all this data on the drive, to a more structured way on the right, where we split up the disk into zones and have a more cooperative model where the host places data into zones in the drive. And these zones can be aligned perfectly with the underlying media. So you avoid this data streams multiplexing problem. So applications can separate their data from each other. And applications can operate smarter on the flash by separating its internal data into different types, placing it into different zones according to data temperature. So you don't get a mix of hot and cold data and decrease write amplification doing that. And this eliminates the data streams multiplexing problem. So you get the opposite. You decrease the write amplification, over provisioning needs, and reducing cost. And you also get the performance benefits of increasing throughput and latency predictability. So having a, a more cooperative model and a different uh, contract between the device and the host, you get better overall system performance. And this is something that we're now standardizing in NVMe as part of the zone namespace technical proposal. So what we're doing now is adding the zone block device model for SSDs, which is a new paradigm in storage, where uh, the address space of the device is divided up in zones. And within each zone, you need to write sequential. And once you have filled a zone in, and you want to reuse it, you're done with the data, you need to go back to the, by resetting the, the write pointer using a reset command. 
So the host is in full control here. So if you want to start writing to a zone, you would start by issuing a write um, at the start of the zone, and then push a write pointer in the zone forward by issuing sequential writes. So you need to sequentially write until the capacity is full. And once you have uh, completed the use of that data through some copy on write um, mechanism, uh, or you have completely in invalidated the whole file, deleting a file, for example, you can reuse that block by simply resetting the write pointer to the start and rewrite that, uh, that zone. So this is a stricter contract, but it allows the host to have better control of the media. But this is a completely new model, right? We have been using the normal block interface forever, but this is not this is new for Flash, but it's not uh, new to the ecosystem because some block devices are already out there. We have shingle magnetic drives that have exactly these properties. We have zone hard drives out there already, and we can reuse all the work that's already been done for hard drives using the SAC and CBC. Uh, command sets. So the parts that have already been adapted for some block devices can be reused with a few mod modifications. So existing CBD aware file systems and device mappers and all the things you used to do um, in the Linux ecosystems will, will just work. And it will integrate really well, well with uh, applications such as uh, RocksDB and Ceph which we're looking into and, and adapting in preparation for this. Um, we already have uh, support in the test tool FIO. We have user space libraries and auxiliary utilities to help you on your way. And this is already a mature storage stack. Uh, SMR has been um, available for quite some time, and this has been tested and uh, deployed uh, at uh, technology adapters around the world. And our vision here is to provide a unified stack for both density-optimized SMR drives and zoned SSDs. So applications should not need to know if they're operating on a zoned SSD or uh, an SMR drive, a spinning, a spinning drive. So although this is a paradigm shift, the software will be ready when the specification will be ready. And since this is a paradigm shift, uh, people need to learn how to utilize this in the best way. Um, Western Digital has launched the Zone Storage uh, Initiative at the site uh, zonestorage.io. And this site contains information for both for software developers and for um, uh, data center infrastructure engineers to make best use of this technology. So it contains getting started guides, links to specifications, um, information who can, who can start emulating this, um, and links and descriptions of all the components that are CBD aware across the um, open source ecosystem. And we're using all the knowledge we have and all the experience we have um, by working with the specifications and um, in the Linux kernel community and in the rest of the open source world to really lead you um, into this uh, new paradigm. So please have a look, um, and you'll have more information there. And if you want to see uh, the killer app for this, or a killer app for this, um, head over to our RocksDB booth demo, where we do an end-to-end -end integration of zones. And this is all based upon normal software um, using the Linux software stack. And we're doing adaptions to RocksDB first, as this it is this general key value store um, that is used in many, many different places across the ecosystem, um, either by its own or as a component in a, a, as part of other databases or uh, distributed file systems such as Ceph. So it's a great piece of the puzzle that we want to enable um, uh, the use of CNS for. And 
it's flash friendly. It's based on this uh, log structured merge tree uh, data structure, uh, which means that it, it's basically a copy and write on disk. And it's, that makes it very, very, very flash friendly. And it also has this nice hot and cold data separation. Um, yeah, because it's SS tables, the sort of string tables it stores its values in keys in are being compacted uh, in increasingly colder levels of SSD tables. So it has all this knowledge about its data. Um, and, and this is great, but it's in using current interfaces to disks, it cannot communicate all of that to make um, write amplification really, really small. And um, when we started looking into this, we first measured what the write amplification was uh, on existing drives. And we can see here on the graph that as the drive fills, fills up, you see the uh, capacity being used. When then it reaches uh, the device capacity, we start filling up the drive. The drive is forced to do garbage collection. And that garbage collection increases the write amplification to four times in this measurement. And we saw something between three and six times, depending on workload. And this is, this, is, this is a lot. This is surprisingly high. But it is because we get multiple data streams getting mixed on the disk. The disk cannot tell the different temperatures of the data apart. So it has to do all of this garbage collection. And in our implementation for CNS, uh, we map SS tables to zones, and we achieve 1x device write amplification. So that's, that's really significant. And it wasn't rocket science to do it, because DroxDB already behaves very nicely. Um, so that's 1x compared to the 3 to 6x uh, write amplification we measured on the conventional drive. And we also get a capacity increase because zone block devices or zone um, SSDs do not need any internal garbage collection. And normally, you reserve a quite large chunk of that disk's capacity for, for garbage collection. So we can reclaim that space and use it. So um, in this uh, comparison we have with a drive, a conventional drive with 28% uh, over-provisioning, we get a 20% extra capacity. And that directly translates to a capacity increase or, or a cost reduction by 20%. So you get 20% for free, while also getting this um, right throughput uh, advantage uh, and um, a longer lifetime of the device. So um, I'd like to discuss this and, and, uh, and show you how these zones are being written to. We have a live demo of that. Um, have a visualization of zones are being written to, reset, and, and give you more information about all of this. So head over to our booth, and we can continue our conversation there. You can also take any questions now, if you have. All right. Thanks a lot.